beautiful, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada, and welcome. So today's video is gonna be a foundation review. This is long overdue. This is, ooh, that rang. This is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, and I did pick up the shade Medium Dark 115, and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is Medium 26. So today we're gonna be testing that out, finally. Let's get into it, and let's do a foundation review. So we're gonna go in with our Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now we're gonna go in with our Cover FX Blurring Primer. You can totally see the difference where this is like matted out and then forehead shiny as heck. No, 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 no. So one side we're gonna do a beauty sponge, the other side we're gonna do foundation brush just to see the application and how it goes all of that good stuff Ooh, it, it's pretty liquidy it's not like a thick consistency or anything it's just pretty like you know it's not runny like water it's kind of like in the middle really runny then it's not like really thick you know hopefully this matches me okay and we're just going to use the flower beauty beauty spot Ooh. That matches me pretty freaking good. Okay, that was all right. And I was kind of nervous because I was like, oh, I didn't order two shades. Hmm, yeah. That is my shade. Again, this is a medium 115, medium dark 115. Ooh, that looks good. Are you guys seeing that? That looks good. Okay, let me do my forehead. I'm like really happy with how that looks. I love it when things work out like that. Where you're like, yes. And it's so hard ordering foundations online because you just never, never know. So, that looks pretty freaking good. That looks freaking awesome. So here is, let me see if I can zoom in more, can I? Mm -hmm. Foundation. No foundation. I'm gonna get myself whoop lash. Foundation, no foundation. The coverage is good. Coverage is good, how it matches me. It looks freaking awesome. It looks good, okay. I'm pretty impressed and I still have some left over. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the It Cosmetics Superstar Flawless Foundation. Superstar. Okay, so I'm really impressed. I don't know why I took so long. With the beauty sponge, I could definitely see that it has more coverage. It, it gives you more coverage. Let me just go in with another. And then it's buildable, so. It's buildable. Okay. I like both sides. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me just. Now I'm excited to see how the freaking concealer comes out, because this is Good. Here we have foundation brush, beauty sponge, foundation brush, beauty sponge. I like it. I really like how it how it looks, and it dries kind of like not like a matte, not like all the way matte. Where my skin doesn't look like oh, that's not flattering kind of thing. It looks it looks pretty good. So now let's go in with the concealer. The concealer I got was medium 26. And with the ColourPop website, it tells you like this would be best matched with this shade, this shade, this shade, you know? And it gave me this one right here. I like the Doe Flop applicator, okay. Ooh, the coverage on this is good. I am just like, wow, okay. Like, look how good that coverage is. Oh, and I love how the wand is flat, so you can just go, Mira, oh my god, oh my god. We're just going to blend this in. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Do you see how good that blended out? Look, this eye looks lifted. Push-up bra, no push-up bra. Push-up bra, no push-up bra. Oh. Oh, you guys, I think I got a new favorite concealer. 
First impressions is bomb. And let's do it on the nose. We'll just do a little bit because that is pigmented. The way this concealer is working is like a high-end concealer and I'm really shook right now because of how good it is. But I'm kind of pissed off where it's like, why did I take so long? I love it when I get excited about makeup. I'm just like, yes. So hopefully the foundation wear test is It's waking up my under eye. So I'm gonna set my concealer. And I'll be using my Too Faced Peach Perfect. You guys know this is like my ride or die. Ride or die. This is what I'm gonna be using. I know for sure when I give birth to baby because it does not let me down. And I'm using a Morphe G35. And we're just going to lightly set underneath my eye. Now I'm mad that I didn't get the pressed powder. Like now this is gonna make me want to order again. If any of you guys have the foundation pressed powder, please let me know. Let me know if it's good or if I'm good with what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my face real quick and then I'll be right back. So it is now 10.09, foundation, concealer, everything, just whoosh. Look at this highlight, look at this highlight. I don't know if I'm gonna upload the Desi collection first because I am reviewing this and it is on my eyes, Mina. So look, Mina, ooh, 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 ooh. So I don't know what one's gonna go up first. Anyways, so it is now 10.09. Here's the foundation. Foundation looks good. You would not think I'm wearing such an affordable foundation right now just because of how good it looks you'd be like oh my gosh that has to be high end no it's color pop look at that my under eyes look really good so here is an up close i just love the way my skin looks mira fuego ooh, ooh, ooh. it looks so nice okay so I'm gonna go on throughout my day and I will be checking in with you guys so you guys can see how everything is holding up, how everything looks, if I am creasing, if I have any oil, if anything is separating, anything like that. I will definitely let you guys know. I like to get all up close and personal. So hopefully this foundation kills it because the concealer has me shook. So stay tuned and we will do another check-in. I hope I was not sweating, okay. Okay, so it's now 5.32. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys my face. And we're gonna talk a little bit. My nose is getting a bit oily. Right here, I have smile lines going on. Right here, like if I, so I make a lot of um, face expressions. And then right here, it's kind of cracking up. Yeah, my forehead looks good cheek area looks good the only areas that i kind of ugh, right here you can see you can see my smile lines and then right here it's breaking up right here so like this whole area just like this area right here it's cracking my forehead looks really really good and i do lots of face expressions like no other but that looks pretty all right i love the way it looks right here 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 it's just my problem area right here it's not doing too well with which makes me sad yeah because like right here you could just see like it looks like a bunch of like like if you put something like if you just <clears throat> you spread something out you let it dry and then you just wrinkled it and then you can see all the creases so there's a lot of that going on right here maybe if i bake it next time i don't know you guys let me know if you have tried this foundation and if you have that same problem right there let me know, let me know. But other than that, that's the only concern that I have so far, so yeah. So I will do one last check-in and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on the foundation. So stay tuned. So it is now 10.16 and I am ready to KO, just like. Okay, so foundation still looks good. This area, a little bit of this area. But again, not right here. In my nose, it's starting to fade. Right here on my nose, the product is disappearing. My chin, it has product on it. Let me get in close. 
Hopefully. So the foundation, I don't think it's like horrible, 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 horrible. I will probably have to use like a different primer right here. If you guys have this issue, please let me know what you use for that. Let me take out these oh, lashes. Let me know what you use for this area right here if you have a problem with that area. Highlighter is still on. That is like a bonus. Coverage was really, really good, really, really nice. And the concealer, I love the concealer. The concealer is super duper pigmented. The concealer is full coverage. It's amazing. So I'll definitely be using it. Do I recommend them both? Yes, I do. I, I do. Even, even though this area wasn't the best, I still rate the foundation a 7 out of a 10. Just because it separated a little bit on my nose area. I don't like how it's kind of like going into my fine lines right here. Concealer, I would give it a 10 out of a 10. Coverage was amazing. Ooh, blended a, like a dream really brightened up underneath my eye. So that is the end of my foundation review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated my videos. <sighs> I'm ready to shut my eyes, you guys. I'm like talking like this, but I'm really, really ready just to... Take it in winter, you guys. Mm.